Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a photo gallery on your Drupal website. So first off, we need to create what they call a content type. So at the moment, we have four content types in here. We have an article content type where we will create your blog posts. We have a basic page where you, where you would create your static pages, um, such as an About Us page, services page, and so on, uh, an FAQ and testimonial. So we're going to create a content type here called Photo. And we're just going to give it a short description. So add a photo to your photo gallery. Okay, so we keep the title field title. We don't want to promote it to the home page, but we want to keep it published when we create the content. We don't want to show who's created it, that's unnecessary. So then we click save and manage fields. So by default, when you create a new content type, Drupal will give it a body. This is where you would put any descriptions or anything like that in there. What we want to do, because this is going to be a photo content type, we need to give it a photo field or an image field. In Drupal, it would already be created, the field, so we just simply click use an existing field, field image. And we can change that. We can keep it as image or we can change it to photo. It doesn't really matter, whatever you prefer there. And then we click save. So then we need to tell it whether we want it required. Being that this is a photo content type, we want to, we want it required. So we'll tick that box. Um, you can give it you know, sort of different file extensions. Um, it lists the most common ones anyway. So PNG, GIF, JPEG, and so on. Um, we want to give it all of our images alt tags um, so we make we enable it and we make it required we can also do the same for the title tags so we um, make it available and make it required then we click save settings okay then we move over to form display this is where um, what we we will see when we create the photos. So I'm just going to pull that up underneath the title um, and click save. And then manage display is the display the front end what uh, visitors to your website will see. So we want the photo at the top. Then we want the body, the description, anything we're going to write in there underneath it and then the links underneath that. Then we click save. So body, uh, the photo, we don't want the label for the photo to be shown, so I'm going to hide that. And that's it. Now what we do is when we go to our content types now and add con to add content, we've now got our new photo in there. So I'm going to add our first photo. So our first photo. And we're going to upload a photo. So let's pop in a lighting. And we're going to describe this photo. So um, description. That's the old, that's the old alternative text, old tags, and that's the title that we made that we have to put in. Um, this is the body. Like I said, we don't have to put in anything there. Um, you can put a description in there to, to describe more about the photo if you wish. Uh, on this occasion, I'm not going to, um, and it's automatically set to published. And then we click save. And there is our photo that we've uploaded. Now we've got that 
now we've got our first piece of photo content in Drupal, we now need to tell Drupal that we want to create a gallery for them. This is where Drupal comes into its own and is really powerful. It has a feature called views. Um, so we go up to structure and then views. Views is will basically take any content out of Drupal and display it in any way that you want to display it. So we're going to create a new view based on our photo content type and we're going to call it gallery. And to use the content of photo. And then we're going to create a page. We're going to call it photo gallery. We're going to give it a path of forward slash gallery. So on your website, um, <clears throat> in this instance, it would be website for electricians.com forward slash gallery. Um, I want to dis I want to display 10 per page. After that, it would use a pager. So the gallery page will show the latest 10 photos that you upload, and then it will move on to pages, sort of page one, page two, page three at the bottom. Um, we want to create a menu link, and I want to add that to the main navigation of the website. So we're now going to give it a gallery link, and then we click Save and Edit. Now this is the Drupal Views interface. This is where you can set any piece of content, or in this case, photo content, to display how we want to display it. So at the moment, by default, it's just showing its title and a link, read more, to, the, to our first photo that we created. So what we need to do is, I want to create them as grids. So I want to put them as a grid, and I want two columns across. And then we literally leave everything else and click Apply. It will then show them as grid. In here, I don't want to show the teasers. I want to show them as fields. I want to show the fields. So the fields being um, what we added earlier on when we added the photo field, when we added the image field. So we click Apply and then apply again okay so at the moment it's now just showing the title for that now what we want to do is add a field <clears throat> so we come down here and find the image field and it says here appears in article photo also known as content photo which is what we called it earlier on so we're going to add that <clears throat> then what we can do is tell it what size we leave, leave the image formatter to image you can have a link to the image if you like but obviously in this case we're, we're doing a gallery so we want to show the image itself here you can create different image styles in Drupal in this case I've got a few here so we've got large medium thumbnail and so on so I want to use large as the image style to, sh to show and we want to link it to the content to the actual main page of where where we created the content itself and then we click apply it will now show the image and the title um, you can hide the title if you wish you click onto the title and you can you can exclude from display um, in this case, I'm not going to do that. So that there is our view. That's how we want to display our photos in our photo gallery. So I'm going to click Save. Now, if we go back home and go back to the site, we've now got our gallery link here. So we go into there, and there you go. There's our first image that we created in the gallery so if we click on that it takes them to the main photo that you created and obviously if you had any description of the of the of the photo that would be down here okay so we're going to create another piece of content there's another <clears throat> another photo we're going to call that 
photo two. Upload another photo. And we will just copy and paste those into there for quickness. Obviously, you would give a better description on both of those um, and click save. We'll have another, we'll add another one photo. We'll upload another photo. Call that photo three. So yeah, simple and quick it is to actually add photos. Um, okay, and that's photo three. So we've now got three photos. So if we go back to the gallery view that we created, we have now got those three photos in the gallery set out as a grid as to a cross. And that would just keep, as you keep creating the content, the photos, they would keep being added here. Um, obviously, if you don't want to show this bit here and you just want to show the photos, what we can do to edit this view that we created, we can come here to this little pencil icon and click edit view. Okay, so we're back here. So um, I want to hide that title now and I only show the image. So we click on the title and we'll exclude it from display. Click apply, click save. This will take us back to the image gallery, the photo gallery, and there you go. There's no title showing just the images. Again, you can change the, the image sizes all inside the view. You can, you can decide how many across that you want. So we can go back to the grid settings. And actually, we want three across. Click Save. Then we get three across and so on. Hope that all makes sense um, and that you've created your first photo gallery in Drupal.